the stance is much wider and this is going to be much more stable. In previous videos, I tested my Jetwood JC14 EP. This truck is a lot of fun, but it had one major issue, and that is the handling. This truck was very tipsy, uh, so I went ahead and used a pair of Shergo 15 millimeter hex extenders, which widened the track. It made the spacing of the wheels set out 15 millimeters on each side, and it made a night and day difference. It really transformed the handling of this truck. This also applies to the MJX HyperGo 14 scale truck. So there's, this is a clone of those MJX trucks. But I wanted to go ahead and run taller tires. I have these GRP speed run tires to get this well above 60 miles an hour. And the problem was I tried to run this and it just kept tipping over. I couldn't get it above 40 miles an hour. It was so incredibly unstable. And again, this is gonna be real sketchy. This truck is so twitchy. It's probably in the low 70s right now. And I already flipped it over. This does not look encouraging at all. I might have to scrap these runs. All right, and then here's my GPS flying. So uh, this is a no-go for sure. And part of the reason is I had removed those 15 millimeter hex extenders. But the other part is these tires have, um, they're set, they're in further than the stock tires, which made the uh, track even narrower than it would be stock. So way too tipsy. And I was worried this 15 millimeter Shergo hex extenders would not be enough for this setup. So I now have the Shergo 30 millimeter hex extender. And these should widen the track sufficiently to make the truck a lot more stable. So I'm gonna do another video and install these 12 millimeter to 17 millimeter hex adapters with the 30 millimeter offset and see how much of a handle and a difference it makes on this truck. It should make it much more stable and less prone to tipping over. And then I hope to get this truck up to at least 65 miles an hour. So installing these is pretty straightforward. You have the adapters, you have the 17 millimeter nuts, and you have the bolts here that um, you use to tighten down the tires onto the extenders. Let me show you real quickly how to go ahead and install these. So all you need is an eight millimeter socket, and we'll start with this back one here, and we're gonna go ahead and remove the current setup. So you can see here, when you don't have the uh, offset, you can run a much shorter bolt, but these are the ones we're gonna need for the new hexes. First, I need to go ahead and remove the old adapters that have no offset. You want a 17 millimeter socket for this, and you always wanna use Loctite with these because they are prone to coming off otherwise at the most inopportune time. Mine are actually stuck, so I have to use my soldering iron to heat up the Loctite, but better to have them too tight than not tight enough because they, um, you know, you'll lose the nuts otherwise. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and insert the hex extender, the 17 millimeter hex into the wheel, like that. And then you're gonna wanna put a little bit of blue Loctite on the threads to uh, keep things from coming apart. And then you want the serrated part of this nut to go against the wheel and the smooth part to face outward. So just go ahead and snug this up and then use your socket to snug it up the rest of the way. Then just put a drop of Loctite on the axle, slide the hex extender on, and then take the long 
bolt. Push it down into the slot until it connects with the axle and then tighten it down with your eight millimeter socket. And then snug it up. And there we go. Now I'm gonna do this to all four corners. Now I'm gripping these gently with a pair of vice grips and then they were coming right off after I used the solder and iron. But that's uh, how I got these off. Now I'll report back as soon as I drive this thing on how it handles, but look at that. The stance is much wider and this is gonna be much more stable. Now there is a chance these are, you know, a little too wide. I'll report back if there's any issues running it. The 15 millimeter ones worked flawlessly with the stock tires, but again, these GRP tires, they're um, set in further the way the, uh, the hubs are um, situated in the wheels there, and they make them sit in closer than the stock tires. So this extra distance here with the 30 millimeter extensions should really make a big difference. Hopefully it's uh, stable now, and now I can go ahead and uh, run these much larger than stock speed run tires, and that'll make my gearing effectively taller, and I'm shooting for at least 65 miles an hour. Stay tuned for the running video, guys. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Take care.